Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you a home automation system which can be controlled with Alexa, Google Assistant, and manual switches. So let's get started. Hey Google, turn on night light. All right, turning the night light on. Hey Google, turn on studio light. Okay, turning the studio light on. Hey Google, turn off all light. All right, turning three lights off. Alexa, turn on night light. Okay. Alexa, turn off night light. So for this project you will need a ESP32 board, 4 channel relay module, some switches, even you can use the push button, a breadboard and some wires. Now follow the circuit diagram and make your connections. You can use the tactile push button or even you can use the switches for this project. The connections for the switches and the tactile push button will be same. Since the ESP32 board does not fit on our regular breadboards, so I am using these two boards to connect it. Now connect your ESP32 board with your computer. Now open Cynic Pro website. This is the URL. Sign up and create your account by filling these details. I have already did it so I will log in. So on this dashboard page, first go to rooms and create your own room. Click on add room, give the name and click on save. So you have successfully created your room. Now we will add the devices. So go to devices, click on add devices. Give the name for your device. I am giving studio light. You can give room light or anything you want. Then I will give same as description. Select the switch as we are using as a switch. Select the room and click on save. Now you can also activate the push notification. I am not going to do this. So I will click on next. And again I will click on next. And click on save. So we successfully created one switch that is studio light. Similarly, we will create two more. In Cynric Pro, you can create three switches for free. If you want to create more switches, then you have to pay for it. So now we successfully created three switches. All the three switches have a unique ID. So open the code and download all these libraries. Here enter your Wi-Fi name, your Wi-Fi password and here we will enter the API key and API secret. So go to credentials on the Synric Pro dashboard and copy the API key from here and paste it as it is. Now we will copy the secret and we will paste it on this line. 
So after this, we have to paste the device IDs. Go to devices and copy all the device IDs and paste it one by one. Since we have access to three switches, so we'll be only pasting three IDs. Leave the fourth one as it is if you don't want to use it. So now if you want to use the tactile push button, then uncomment this line as I'm using the switches. So I will comment it back. So now select the port board board is do it ESP32 development kit board. Select the port and upload the code. At the time of uploading, don't forget to press the boot button else you will find an error. Now we'll configure all the applications. Open the Google Home. Click on the plus icon. Over here, create new home. Give the name. I'm giving home automation. Click on continue. It will ask for the address. Give your address and click on next. After this, again click on plus icon and click on set up a device. Click on works with Google and search for Synric Pro. Open the Synric Pro account and sign in with your account. After signing in, you will find all the three switches on your Google Home. So if you scroll down here, you will find all the three switches. So the account setup for the Google Home is done. Now we'll do for the Amazon Alexa. So download the Amazon Alexa app and open it. Over here click on more. Click on skills and games and search for Synric Pro. Open the first one, Synric Pro and click on enable to use. Now again sign in with your Synric Pro account. After signing in, it will ask to discover the devices. Click on discover devices. It will take few seconds to discover all your devices. That is all are your switches. And after that, you will find all your switches in the devices tab. So open it and these are all the switches. To avoid all these wiring connections, make our project more compact and durable and look good, I have designed my own PCB for this project. So to order our PCBs, I am visiting jlcpcb.com who is the sponsor of this project and who offers very good quality of PCBs at very low prices. So we will select quote now and add our gearbox file on this website. After adding it, we'll select the quantity and color and place our orders. I've received my PCBs in 7 to 8 days. As you can see, the packing was very good and the quality of the PCB is very good. So now we'll start collecting the components for this project. And after this, we'll assemble all the components on our PCB board and start the soldering process. I'm using this 2 pin connector for 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC high link converter. So we can directly power this board with our 220 volt AC power supply. You can use these switches if you want and you can connect all the switches on these header pins. Now this is a bulb holder. So we'll cut one of its wire and connect it to our relay module. Similarly, I have connected 4 more bulbs. So finally, our project is ready to work. So I have connected the 4 bulbs with our 4 relays on this PCB board. 
and I've connected the switches and here is our mobile Hey Google, turn on night light. All right, turning the night light on. Hey Google, turn on studio light. Okay, turning the studio light on. Hey Google, turn off all light. All right, turning three lights off. Alexa, turn on night light. Okay. Alexa, turn off night light. If you like this video, do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.